Hey everybody, this is Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about eyeshadow and feeling tired. So I'm going to try something different with primer. I'm going to use my foundation. This is L'Oreal Pro Glow uh, foundation in creamy natural. I warmed it up in my fingers a little and then just gently tapped it on in there. And then I took my Fiera High Definition Setting Powder with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This comes from the Pharmacy Professional brush kit that included makeup brushes as well as eyeshadow brushes. While visiting my sister this past week, I snagged her Laura Geller's Nothing But Neutrals Baked Eyeshadows and chose the lid color in Glacier. So I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just sweeping the color across the lid, avoiding my crease, and then sweeping it under my brow. Wish I could tell you what brand eyeshadow brush this is, but I don't know, it's not labeled and I've had it forever. I'm not very fancy, am I? Taking an Urban Decay dual end brush, this is from their Naked line. I'm tapping my brush into the color Cyclone and I'm going right above my crease and I'm gonna sweep that color just up under my eyebrow. Now this is supposed to, in theory, give your eye a lifted look. I didn't like that color. It was taking too long to get the color impact I wanted, so I went back in and I grabbed the color Terrain to make it a little darker. That's the puppy, if you can hear the puppy in the background, sorry about that. So I was basically just applying it until I got the color effect that I was looking for. Okay, brutal honesty alert. I had such a bad headache. I've had a headache for the last several days. It, the humidity in Southwest Florida, and I'm also right in front of a window and the sun is coming in and I'm squinting a lot and it's really actually quite painful. <laughs> So I look washed out. I was tempted not to even publish this video because I think I look so washed out and pasty here. But I decided, nope, this is how I feel some days and this is how I look some days and I'm not gonna edit it out and everybody just gets to see the real thing. Okay, so I had taken a detail brush and went into the crease with the color Lightning. Still trying to get the effect of a lifted eye by putting the color only in my crease and on the outer corner with downward strokes. Using the previously mentioned unidentified dual end brush, I took the fine tip and I dipped it in a light matte color called Wind and placed it right under my brows. Then I took a liner brush by Bare Essentials. I dipped it in the color Earth and I tight lined my upper lashes as well as my lower lashes. Here I was having a middle age crisis moment and I'm observing those lines on my forehead. Okay, I don't really relish those lines you guys and you know for all being honest we all don't particularly enjoy those lines so it was another one of those things where I'm like Ugh, I don't want to publish this video but I did it anyway the next thing I did was take a dense eyeshadow brush again from the pharmacy professional line and I'm using a shimmer color on my lid and this is the shade dust again from that Laura Geller palette then I took a fluffy brush out of that same kit and just used it to blend to get rid of any harsh lines. And okay, I look like my mother, but okay. Alrighty, so eyelash curlers. I found that when I curl my eyelashes, applying my mascara is quicker, easier. I don't have to use as many coats. This is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. And if you'll notice this brush, it's, it's curved. And that is what creates a curl effect for your lashes. I'm telling you, it's all in the brush. I like this e.l.f. mascara. It was $6. 
I usually don't use mascara on my lower lashes. Um, and the reason why is because it always seems to make a mess. But I just take a little Q-tip and clean it up. So at this point, I had to take out my contact lenses because they were itchy and I was having trouble seeing. And I came back and decided, you need some powder and you need some bronzer. So I applied a little powder, a little bronzer, cleaned it up a little bit, brightened up my face a bit. Just not my best day, not feeling my best, not looking my best. You know, we all have days like that, don't we? And Honestly, when it comes to makeup, less is more. And sometimes when I apply a lot of eye makeup, it feels like it ages me, but it's just fun experimenting. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by.